You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carol Lee and Julia. If you're tired and not feeling energized or not sure what your purpose is in life, Carol Lee and Julia are here to provide information and energy to make a greater you. Now, please welcome the hosts of A Call to Heal, two powerful energy movers, Carol Lee and Julia. Hello and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Carolee Schloth. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe, and you are tuned into the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we are so grateful and appreciate each and every one of you who are listening live or to the recording. So we will be taking calls from those of you who would like us to facilitate a healing with you. So please call 855 855- 856-1380. And if you would like further information on the services Carolee and I provide, which includes um, private Skype healing sessions or by phone, which we are actually offering 30% off a session this month. So um, please check out that at awarenessbeyond.com. So Julia, each week we start off with guided imagery. So would you like to explain to our guests what that's all about? Well, guided imagery is a way that I utilize to get us center and grounded and open our heart space so that we can connect and allow the energy of healing to flow through us. So it can be a visualization that just takes us to a place. And if we let ourselves relax into it, it becomes our reality. Yeah, and it taps way deep inside each one of us and it allows us to connect to each other because we are all one and it allows us to open our hearts and really, really have things happen to us that may not if we weren't so deep inside ourselves. So are you ready for that, Julia? Yeah, you want to take it away, Carolee? Okay, so before we begin, get comfortable and close your eyes. And listen to me, if you're operating any machinery or you're in a car, please don't do this because you're literally going into an alternative reality. So let's center ourselves, taking three deep breaths, breathing in through our nose, the golden light of peace and joy, and breathing out through our mouth. And with each breath, we're going deeper. So two more breaths. And then begin to think of Earth. And all her beauty. See her forests, her oceans, and her magnificent mountains. And begin to build up in your heart and your body the love, the light, the energy that you feel for her. Begin to build this up and send it down through your root. Send it to the crystalline core of earth. She will feel it. And she will return it to you. You'll begin to feel this energy vibrating up through you. This is what love is. This is what light is. And feel it rising through your body. And then allow it to run perfectly through all of your fields. And now think of all that is beyond earth. The planets, the suns, the galaxies, and the suns beyond the suns. And feel the love that you have, the light and the energy for all that is beyond earth. And send this energy up through your crown to the core of creation, to creator. And then begin to feel this love returning to you. Coming in through your crown, running through your bodies, running perfectly with the energy of earth. Feel it blending. Feel all of your fields expanding. 
And as we continue to feel these powerful energies, we drop our consciousness into our heart. Feel your heart. Feel the potent energies running through the core of you. Drop deeper into your heart and further into your heart, staying fully connected to earth and creator. And your higher self knows how to run these energies perfectly through all of your fields. And as these energies are running perfectly, imagine that you are at a powerful sacred waterfall on the side of a mountain. And this waterfall cascades into a warm pool. See yourself standing at the edge of the pool. And now dive in. And allow the waters to clear all your dense energies, all your negative thought forms, and all dense beings off your fields. Swim through the waters, feeling this release. Go deeper into the waters, releasing deeper into your fields. And now come to the top of the water and just float allowing this clearing to continue through all of your bodies, through all of you. And now feel the joy that you feel and just turn your head and notice the fish that are all around you. They are sharing the gift of their colored rays. Absorb the perfect energy of the colors that they are giving to you that are perfect for you. And as you continue to float, Looking at these beautiful fish, you begin to hear the songs of the birds. So many beautiful sounds and calls. Let their healing sounds penetrate their fields, your fields, as your fields observe sound and light, absorbing it into you, making great and tremendous change for you in this moment for you. Absorb it all. Accept this beautiful gift. Now, roll over in that water, looking down into earth while you're in that water and notice the beautiful, huge crystals at the bottom of the pool. These powerful beings are emitting huge amounts of light that are helping you open, clear, align, balance, integrate, and stabilize your chakras, all of them, and your meridians, your organs, your glands, your bodies, your systems, and all systems within all bodies. Open further to this incredible healing energy. Just continue to float, enjoying all of this energy that is expanding you and connecting you to all that is, connecting you to each of us that are awoken, that are here making tremendous change on the planet. And just open for you are completely safe. Remember who you are. And so be it. And so it is. We come back to here and now. Wow, Carolee, thank you. That just was a beautiful way to bring us all to, together and connect us all in this moment of now. Thank you. You're welcome. It just feels so good, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> so how about those energies that, I mean, I'm getting hammered. I don't know about you, What's, but yeah, I do know about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like in tremendous with the energies. And it's like, so I, you know, I called Carol Lee this weekend saying, can you help me clear? Because it's like, I don't seem to be able to do this. And here she was in the same state as I was. So what's the lesson here, Carolee, to <laughs> reach out and touch somebody? <laughs> yeah, so a lot of the information that I get um, to myself, but as well as when I go on to the different websites that are out there of all of us that are awoken, you know, the Gaia channel, um, Collective Evolution, wherever you're going, the big message out there is to be in community, to be in unity with others, because that's where our power lies. So what I found is when you're alone and as the stuff starts going through your body, which was tremendous this weekend, I was dying in my head. My brain was hurting. It was a lot. And there was a, my ego at certain times would go, oh, you have brain cancer. You're dying of brain cancer. And then I would be like, oh, wow, I'm not really. And I knew it. But it still is a lot when your head hurts 
it's that bad and you don't know what's going on. And it was funny that you called me, Julia, sent me a text and then we connected and I said, what's going on? She's like, my head's killing me. And then we laughed and we laughed because we knew it was light body. We knew it was the energies of the planet, but you don't when you're all alone. So you don't want to be alone, guys that are out there, wherever you are, get connected to people that are welcome, whether you go to a spiritual center, whether you go to yoga classes, whether you get online and join a chat room, go where people are woken so your energies can connect so that you don't think those weird thoughts because then your mental body will literally bring you down. It will bring you into denser energies and you'll be in more pain. Yeah, and it was it was just like oh, I'm, and it was like it was funny because we laughed because it's like oh, misery loves company. It was like, but then it was we were able to clear, and then once we got off the phone, everything was lighter. It's like I didn't feel like I was going to die anymore. <laughs> so it was pretty. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, my head didn't hurt as much anymore. Yeah, after our conversation. Yeah, and another thing that seemed to help was drinking a lot of water and and keeping our yes. ourselves hydrated well. That's like crucial because I really wasn't doing that too well. And as soon as I did do that, um, my head did get a lot better. And it's super important, guys, because there's so much light coming into our bodies. And we do a lot of things that dehydrate us. So it is super important to keep bringing that water in. And then also bless your water. Bring it into the highest vibration possible. So on top of all that, besides that, how about sleep? Sleep is getting super interrupted right now. Wherever I am in the United States of the northern part of it, I'm getting where however the energy is hitting us and it could be all over the planet. I don't know, but it keeps waking you up almost every hour and a half to two hours. I get woken up and a lot of people I talk to, the same things happening to them. Doesn't mean it has to happen for all of us, but for those of us that it is, just go with it. No, nothing's wrong with you and keep trying to go back and or get up and start writing or do whatever it is you need to do. Yeah, for me, actually, the sleep's been a little bit better. It's like I'm actually getting like five to six hours um, this this last week, which was good that um, before I would wake up and then I'd be up for about a half hour and then I could fall back asleep again for the rest of my sleep. But I've been in those shoes, too, where it's like, oh, my gosh, it's only two hours later, you know, so it and it, so I think it just fluctuates and you just have to go with the flow and just know that it's just part of the energy coming in. And, inf- and, and when I mean energy, that's also information coming in for you to process. Yeah. And so the biggest lesson that we get is don't fight it. Get out of your mental fields. Try not to think. It's our thinking with all of our programming that kind of densifies us down. So just be like, this is what it is. And I'm just going to feel and move through it. That's the best we can say. Yeah, because when you say, oh, I can't sleep, then your body thinks, oh, I can't sleep. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to return to sleep. And it's like, I'm going to allow sleep to happen. And I'm going to do do um, that affirmation to 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 get back to sleep, and that's what I do. It's like okay, I sleep program on. I'm going to amp that up. It's like I'm going to let it run, and and usually within you know 15 minutes, I can fall back asleep or half hour at the most. And then the other thing to do is move, get your body out and move, get on earth, get into earth, go see like where I'm living. It's stunning right now. All the trees are turning tremendous colors. So get outside, even though you're tired because you weren't sleeping, break through the cycle because as you're out in nature, you just feel better. You're connected to earth. You're connected to the processes that are going on here and that'll help. Absolutely. I know today was, um, well, I'm down in the southern part of the States, and it was like actually a little bit cooler, like in the 80s. And I actually thought I could take a dip in the pool. And it's like, oh, it's a little chilly. And it's like, but I got out and I just sat in the sun. And I, you know, it's like I absorb nature because I'm right against the preserve. And it's like there were the butterflies. And I was seeing, oh, wow, beautiful yellow butterfly and a beautiful orange butterfly. And I was just seeing the beauty of the moment and, and, and being in that. And that also raises our vibration as well. Yes, that's exactly it. And you're making me laugh cold in the 80s. We're up here in like 55. You be quiet down there. Cold in the 80s. Well, I meant to get in the water. I was like, I was like, I was like oh, because my cat's name is Dylan. I'm like, Dylan, it's, it's a little chilly. I'm not sure I'm going all the way in. <laughs> okay. I so, so, Carly, I think it's time for us to yeah, take so a break. I think. Yeah, we're going to take a co- short commercial break. And coming up after the break, we're going to have a call. We have several callers on the line. So I'm your host, Carol Lee, with Julia. And we're here at, at A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Carolee and Julia. That's Carolee and me, anyway, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So, so, hey, everybody. So, we're back, and we're ready to have our first caller, and Lee is on the line. So, hello, Lee. Hello, all. You are having way too much fun. This is really fun for a Monday night. (laughs) I know, isn't it? So, I'm really grateful Uh that you're calling in. And where are you from, Lee? I am from Pennsylvania. Hi. And so, Lee, is there anything that you would like us to facilitate to aid you? Anything that you're looking to change in your life? Anything that you would like Julia and I to help you with? And as we know, Julia and I aren't healing you. We're just aiding you and bringing forward the change that you want to have in your life. (laughs) I don't know where to start. Um, Okay. I had the most beautiful, uh, intricate healing with Carol Lee, and I would like to follow through on that to uh, work on opening the heart and connecting with those um, of like um, energies and get get into the joy of life uh, instead of listening to all the negativity and stuff that's going on. So I'm saying that you're ready to go on a magic carpet ride. Are you ready for the magic carpet ride, Lee? I am. I am. I know. Um, so what I see is that you've released like a tremendous amount of energy around you and you've enlightened yourself and you're ready to fly. And I'm seeing tremendous amount of butterflies around you. Mm. And Jules, what are you saying, Joel? Well, I'm going to go the opposite way because there's still some chains around her heart that I'm seeing that um, they're like rusted and they're old and they're deteriorating. But we're ready. You ready to leave all the rest of those chains go, Lee? Yes, I Just lift them off your heart. Okay, so let's just lift them and let them go. And they're going really easy because they're just deteriorating. They're old and they're ancient. And let's release all vows and contracts that are associated with them as well. There we go. I'm saying that you're showing me that you're done with being in an igloo and you want to run on the beach is what you just showed me. And so let's just open all of your fields to be able to allow the light in, allow the sun in, allow the opening further in all of your fields to allow you to be able to move easily. Let's release the little contracts, no, they're big contracts that you had there, locking all this down. 
And back to where Julia was in the heart, we're going to put a soothing balm around all that because you did release a ton of metal, heavy energy around your heart. And we're just going to soothe that it looks like a beautiful purple and diamond and turquoise light. Running that through your heart and then through all of the all of your fields. Just taking it right out. down. Yeah, yeah there right it goes. Down. Yep, all the way through all your chakra systems. It's just going to float that beautiful bomb. And when we say bomb, it's like that soothing liquid bomb, not like bomb, like boom bomb, but bomb. B A L M bomb. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, yeah, we'll bomb off all your energies with you that you're ready to let go of. So, Lee, you're you're carrying a big, heavy crown on the top of your head. It's really heavy. It's triple. It's a triple crown. So there was a lot that you did in some lifetimes that was so super and important and powerful, but now it's holding you down. So are you ready to let this crown go? Absolutely. Okay. And let's release all the vows, contracts, commitments, and everything, a similar origin and intent that you need it in order to live what you lived. And now it's no longer necessary, no longer important for you. And we're letting that all go. Letting you breathe, just breathe. So as Julia said, when she, you know, when you release that heavy metal that was on your heart, we might think it's not a big deal. It was huge. Okay, so just breathe. Yeah, We're going to let nice, you take a nice breath in through your nose and fill your lungs up, expand as far as you can, and then blow out like you were blowing out the candles on a cake just to release it all. Go for we'll it. Just there we're you gonna go. let that run up through all of your chakras and bodies. So you're showing us a book. It's big. It's like a huge old Bible, and it's time to let that go. So why don't you be like the girl on Titanic and give it to Mother Earth and just stand on the top of that ship and throw it into the ocean? It's gonna free you. Just let it go. I know it's important. I know it's a lot. Just let it go. She's there. Can I keep the bookmarker? <laughs> no, let it all go. You're giving it to Earth. It never really disappears. You're just not going to be tied down, bound. You won't be bound anymore. So let it go. Yes, your knees will be free. There you go. All these little jellyfish just came in and took it away. It's great. They're taking it where it needs to go, where it will be safe and sound. Okay. What else do you see, Jules? Well, when you brought my, the attention to the knees, I see like these little baby porcupines like crawling in and out of her knees. So it's like I think they need to find their mama and leave. Yeah, because that doesn't feel good. Oh. Mm-mm, it's going down up to the hips and down to the feet. So let's release all of that little stinging porcupine energy, giving it back to the core of earth, letting it completely go. You can let it go. It is important to let it go. Release it out of your solar plexus where your power center is. You're holding it there. Just let it go. There you go. Releasing anything, locking it in place. You are free. You are boundless. So she's bringing our attention to her head and her crown again. Yes, I see that the crown is gone and now her head's like, I don't know what to do. (laughs) So let's again bring a balm to the head area, securing it, making it feel safe, opening that third eye further, knowing that it's more about who you are now. There we go. Releasing any fear. Oh, there's a big giant spider that just came in. So we're going to let that fear go. You now is amazing. You now is miraculous. You now is powerful. You fully connected to the oneness of all that is. Let's bring our attention to the back of her neck, Carolee, because there's like some spongy junk in there. Um, I'm not allowed to use four-letter words on the radio. So okay, can we we got to clear it. That needs to be cleared. It's letting it go. There's a siphon there and suck that okay. all right out into earth. There's a being holding that in place. So let's bring a beautiful column of light to release that being back into where it's from. Loving it and giving it love for all that it's done.
So I see a beautiful box coming forward. It's it's gift wrapped. This is you receiving a gift from you. She's like, what is it? What is it? I don't know. You have to look inside. <laughs> it's a seahorse. Whenever I see a seahorse, that oh. means it's divine masculine energies of who you are coming forward. So it's open to that. And let's bring in divine balance of the divine masculine, the divine feminine through all fields, through the disco ball to all of us listening through you, Lee. Thank you. And so when we say the disco ball, that means all realities beyond anything we could comprehend through all time, space and dimensions. So, so Lee, how are you? How are you feeling right now? Where do you, what are you feeling? Well, you know what? I feel like I'm getting a super wash. <laughs> but I want to ask one question. Yes. Uh, I, if, and I don't know what this means or why I'm even asking it. But does the third eye affect the heart, or does the heart affect the third eye? They, so. Years and years ago, we cut off the third eye and mind from the heart. And so that is what we are bringing back into this reality is the activation of the third eye to which is the mind to the heart. They're kind of separate, but not. And so they all need to be connected. And so if you're asking, am I fully connected? Let's go in and make sure that reconnection is there. And for all the listeners, that the mind, third eye and heart are all fully connected. So the heart is the first mind. Okay. That, all right. That's, okay. That's what was cut off 52 to 6,000 years ago when we fell. And now what's happening is it's reconnecting, and we're all beginning to navigate from the heart instead of the mind. And so the third eye is there with the mind, but it's kind of been discombobulated also. It's been cut off. Anything you want to add, Jules? No, I'm just letting. I'm just running that energy between Lee's third eye and her heart space, just to to reestablish and and make. I'm just. I'm in the energy, so I, it's like it's probably better if you talk. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, Lee, you ready to take it all back? I take what uh, what take what back. Make sure all of the pathways are open and clear and reconnected between your mind, third eye, and heart. Okay. All right. Got it. Here we go. There we go. And for everyone that's listening. Okay, so let's bring our attention down to her navel and into her power center of her solar plexus and her sacral chakra. So right there, there's still there's some disconnect between those two chakras and then the heart as well. So we want to just connect all three of those. There we go. And into the root. So let's just do a reboot. 7, 14, 21, 28, 36, 42, 49. There we go. Okay, reboot complete. There we go. So how you feeling, Lee? You feeling better? Hi, Lee. Honey, I'm feeling great. I, could do, I am so uh, excited, and I am so honored that two of you could take the time to work on me and find what needed to be healed, and I just trust that this is going to go on, so it is. But the fact that you two, you know, in your joy, doing your healing, and it, it's something that um, adds to the whole flavor of everything. Oh. And, and it really is nice to see, hear, and feel. Oh, thank you. But and I want to just say for our listeners, Lee trusts. That's the whole thing. She just trusts and she believes. And and when you trust and you believe, it allows it all to happen. And Lee, you're the one doing it. We're just here facilitating the energy with you. So thank you for calling in and being so brave. We so appreciate you. Brave, honey. I want to. I just want to get to that race. <laughs> <laughs> I have been, I have been sick back and they've been saved. I've been chomping at the bit to get back to my life. So I thank you for the healing. 
Okay, but we have, we have to we have to take a, a short commercial break right now. So coming up after the break, I believe we have another caller. So I'm your host Julia with Carol Lee, and we're here to call to heal on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone, anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266 Now is your time. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Carol Lee, and you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So, hi, everybody. I'm really excited because my daughter, Kaylee, has just called in from Australia. So, hey, Kaylee, how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. We're really excited that you called all the way from the other half of the world to be on the show with us here. So, what's up? Um, we just wanted to do a clearing on my future. Okay, so meaning you want to know where you're going or any blocks that are there for what you're trying to create? Yeah, and I just want to stay in the flow and not create any blocks for myself. Okay, all right. So, well, sad to say, hon, you got a giant octopus on you. So there's some huge fear of grief there. Do you know what it is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, do you get any feeling on here? Well, the octopus is like covering her face, so she feels like she's suffocating at times in the fear. Okay. I don't know if that's true or not, but so just let's just, we don't really have to recognize what it is. So how about if we just send that beautiful octopus up into the back into the ocean? There we go. Unless you want to keep the octopus, Kaylee, because and so want to keep the octopus. I can't even talk. Kaylee doesn't want to keep the octopus. Let's okay. Let all right. Breathe. Let's all breathe and let that go. It's a fear. She's She's got some vines, some like rose vines hooked around her ankles and up through her legs. And actually it goes up through her whole torso. So, and the roses on this vine are not, are not beautiful. They're dying. So you ready to leave, leave that go? Yes. Okay. And the other thing is, as I feel like the vine and, the, and all that you're seeing is in the front and in the back, that octopus was still hooked down all the way to the base of her spine. Mm -hmm. And then the roses were kind of like wrapping around the back of her also. So it's a whole system ready to go. You ready to let that go? Yeah. Yeah. Rele releasing okay. all vows and contracts associated with that. So everyone that's listening also, take some deep breaths because this is a huge system of fear that we're letting go of. Thank you, Kaylee. It's fear of moving forward, fear of letting go of the old programs, fear of being who you truly are. Whoa. Ready, guys? So let's breathe. <laughs> I can hear Julia. She's like, I'm powerhouse in this right out here. <laughs> 
Let's go, you mother. <laughs> we are done with this. And release everything, as we said, all vows and contracts, locking it in place. There's a huge cloud around us that's not wanting this to release, so we're going to release the cloud first. There we go. And along with this whole system. Again, bringing in that disco ball to release it from all realities. And releasing all the beings. Bringing that column of light down. There's something like 33 jellyfish here. So we have to release these 33 jellyfish. They're surrounding us, holding this on, letting it all go. So jellyfish is pain. Okay, we want to let go of this pain. We don't have to hold on to pain anymore. Okay, we're down to 20. Somebody's screaming because they want to keep them. We're not keeping them. We're all letting them go, guys. We do not need to suffer. We do not need to be in pain. Remember, we're all in this together and we're all letting it go together. So, Kayla, you've got two little baby jellyfish, like, hiding between your toes. Can you just wiggle yes! your... Can you just <laughs> wiggle your like, toes? oh, my God, what's going on with the feet? And I was going to bring it up when you got done talking. <laughs> so, can you just wiggle your toes so they can f- get free? Because they do want to leave now that everybody else has left, but it's like they're, they were stuck there. So, just wiggle your toes. And our li- other listeners, what wiggle your toes, too, in case there's any babies hiding in your toes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Letting it go. So, Kaylee, there's an artist in you that's ready to bud forward. It's been hiding, and now that this whole system is releasing, um, it's going to come forward. So, I think, Jules, we have to boot the system completely down, opening up the new energies of the artist and all of us to come forward with the new creation. Okay, and we're also going to um, recalibrate the DNA as well. So, we're going to do a reboot, all systems down. And rebooting, 7, 14, 21, 28, 36, 42, 49, systems rebooting, recalibrate the DNA, awakening the artist DNA that's been dormant, the creative, the creation, the creator, the imagination, all that DNA just reawakening and recalibrating through the whole system. And now that's expanding out through all your fields upon fields upon fields. And we're also going in parallel dimensions as well and expanding that creativity out. So it just ripples effect through all of you, all of you in all dimensions. That was pretty powerful. There we go. So, Kaylee, you're showing me a uh, um, paintbrush and you're, it's beautiful and it's an artist paintbrush and you're saying oh do you like my paintbrush I need this paintbrush I have to have this paintbrush to make everything okay and we want to say let the paintbrush go because you can just do it without the paintbrush you don't need the paintbrush be free there you go you just throw it like right in the ocean perfect okay So you're holding hands and I see this huge circle of people around you and you're all holding hands and there's energy spinning and it's amazing. So just open your heart to that and be ready. Be free to let it in. And you won't. You'll be perfectly fine. It's amazing. I see you stamping your feet in the ocean, laughing and splashing, and everyone's joining in. See the third eye expanding tremendously. There's beautiful, uh, what's the green light? Emerald light, beautiful emerald light expanding within your third eye. Moving down into the heart and blasting out through the body. Connecting to the ocean and the core of earth. Blessing up to the sun. Thank you. Wow. So, Kaylee, how are you feeling now? Feel lighter. <laughs> I would after that. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's, Carly, I'm being my attention's being brought between her hips and her knees and and her thigh thigh area. So, do you want to just okay. take a look at that? And see There's razor are. blades, tons of razor blades. 
which that again is that um, fear with pain. So let's let that all out. It's just, um, what do you call that? Past life. It's just past life energy here of moving forward. If I move forward, I can be hurt. So let's let that go. That's so easy. It's residual. Just let it go. There we go. There you go. You can almost touch your toes now. <laughs> That's a joke in our family. Okay. Well, all, when, when you said that, all I saw was her wiggling her butt up in the air. So that was just a really interesting visual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a whole host of cats. There's about 30 cats looking at you. All different colors. Let's let them in. The cat energy is um, beautiful. It's expanding. Lots of cat beings on this planet aiding us right now. There comes such a big wave of energies coming forward. So just we just want to allow you to open to the waves more easily. There you go. And again, I'm looking at the bottom of her feet. There's still something there. It's like sandpaper. Are you ready to let that go? Yeah. Okay, just let that go. It's just a blocking energy. And opening your fingers, just the tips of your fingers to a more hmm, refined energy that's going to come forward aiding you in your art. There we go. Now let's go back to the bottom of her feet because it's like they're actually it's like sandpaper, but she has these like they're sandals made of sandpaper that she needs to let go. So they're like these tiny there's tiny shoes, but they have the sandpaper and it's 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 like keeping her from moving forward smoothly. So you want to just kick those off, Kaylee. She just did. There we go. <laughs> so there's a little teddy bear that's coming towards you. So just take that. It's just love. Just take it and hold it and love. Let that love in. Now there's a hundred thousand of them, so <laughs> let them in. <laughs> oh, did you feel that? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was funny. <laughs> Anything else there, Jules? I see a book. So some knowledge and some new wisdom and information's coming to you. Yeah, and she's, but she's got an old book in her back pocket that she's hiding from us that she don't, really doesn't want to let go of, but that she needs to let go of. So she needs to pull it out of her pocket and, and toss it. You ready to do that, Kaylee? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, no. You say, yeah, but it's like, no, I'm going to keep this in my pocket. So, no, let's, start, let's, let's assist this. There we go. There we go. You do want the new energy. There we go. So there's one little thing from your childhood because they're singing Ducks Like Rain. And then again, that's around four. So something when you were four. Do you remember anything? Um, wearing a raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A yellow raincoat just keeps coming in. Yeah. Ah, that's when you went to Twin Springs Farm and you were four. Yeah, and yeah, and you didn't want to get out of the car and you would scream and cry and I'd have to force you out of the car. All right, so let's let go of that energy of what? What? I said, oh, lovely. I know, but I remember probably more than you. Maybe I'm healing this too with you. So it is that forcing of separation based on what we believed was necessary at the time when perhaps it probably even wasn't. So let's just go in and heal that energies of having to do what we don't want to do, being separated from those that we love, being in fear because we don't even know what's going on. So let's begin to really let all that go for all of us listening. It is a scary place to be and it doesn't have to be. So let's let it all go because we are all safe. Letting that go through all realities, all bodies, and let's see that little inner child of you that's four and just hug her and let her know she's completely safe, that she can harm her. Okay, Kelly, okay. I, I want to thank you for calling in. And so, Kelly, I think it's time for a break. Yep. So, Kaylee, thank you and have fun over there at the Great Barrier Reef, and we miss you. 
for help. Thank you. you guys. Okay, bye bye. So we're taking a short commercial Goodbye. break, and we'll be right we'll be right back. You're listening to a call to heal on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal, and I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Carol Lee, and we are on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. So we just had Kaylee on the line, and we now have Stacy. Are you there, Stacy? Yes, I am. Hey, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Good. And Stacy, where are you from? I'm now living in New Jersey. I moved here um, in June, but I'm a, I was living in Pennsylvania before that. Okay, great. So, can you tell us what it is that you called in? Why you would what you would help like us to help you facilitate? Yeah, I've been having some discomfort on my right side underneath my ribs where the gallbladder and liver is, and it's been coming, coming and going on and off for um, since February. So I really like to heal that. Okay, so that is suppressed anger and resentment. <laughs> so oh. so mm, things that make you go, hmm, yeah. So how about if we just go in and we're just going to go to a subconscious emotional level and we're just going to pull that anger uh, and resentment out? Okay. You ready to let that go? Let that go? Yes, I am. We're pulling that out and we're just going to bring in forgiveness to fill that that void so as that's coming out forgiveness is just flowing into that area of your body divine forgiveness and just soothing that whole area so and then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna facilitate and we're gonna um, bring in mother love and father love um frequency and energy and just flood that area while carolee checks out to see if there's anything else we need to be looking at no, Julia said when Carolee checks out because I did because I have that same <laughs> feeling, Stacy. So I was really in, in gratitude for you for allowing that to get pulled out of me too. So I yes, can. thank you. Yeah, I also Welcome. saw me running, and it was like a past life um, energy of resentment to being locked up and pushed away for trying to use the divine feminine side of who we were. So part of your anger is connected to that divine feminine energies of your intuition and so forth. And is your intuition starting to really come forward now? On and off. 
Yeah, it, it's time now for you to really open up to that side. And so as you're starting to open to it, this pain's coming through from this other life, many other lifetimes and that resentment. So now that Julia just allowed you to help release that, are you ready to open your third eye even more deeper and more wider for what it is that you're here to do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> here it goes. Good for you. <laughs> We're going to just flood with the blue light and really expand out, opening the back of the head, making ease there as her pineal continues to open, letting us all have less pain in the head as we open to these higher frequencies, reactivating levels of DNA within you that were shut down. And look at your healing hands and allow the light to transform through them, reopening the healing energies of who you are. So do you do Mm, healing work? I haven't done it in a long time, but I've been looking to start up again, but I'm not sure what that would look like, what the healing work exactly would look like. But I I am trained in Reiki. Well, now that your third eye is opening and your hands are recalibrating themselves to a deeper level of healing, it'll come to you what to do. So a ton of birds just flew in. A lot of them are ravens. So this is opening to deeper and deeper spiritual levels. Your heart's expanding, and we're going to release some of that um, old energy around your heart. There was a lifetime where you like to play with black magic, and you're afraid now to open because you're afraid of that. But that's that's the way it was. That's what we all did. So we're just going to let that go. Well, not everyone, but a lot of us. So we're just going to let that go. Mm -hmm. Opening the heart, releasing all this black energy around it so you can be free now to be in the light. We're not doing that old stuff anymore. You're free. It's good. You can go forward. I just heard the song, I'm stepping up, even though that's not the words, but that's what you're saying. So good for you. (laughs) (laughs) Joy, you're with us? Uh, I am. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm working on clearing uh, the fields. I'm just, and I'm, I'm, I'm all combobulated in this energy right now. So let's see what I see. I, I'm still being drawn now down to her. The back of her root chakra is there's, it's like smashed there. It's like, so it's like, we just need to bring in the complete healing energy into that area and see what else is there that you can see, Carolee. Yeah. Let's get a big opening going a lot of fear there so we're going to release that fear energy right down into earth and really get that chakra strong really as julia said smash meaning it really didn't have a circle to it and that's really how it runs so we're putting that back into the perfect alignment and allowing it to be open and cleared and aligned and integrated it's really making my solar plexus hurt. So we're going to go up to the third, first, second, and third, third chakras are often really connected because that's us on earth here. And we're going to let all of them get perfectly aligned. And all of our bodies that are connected to them are out of whack. So we're going to ask them to all come into perfect alignment. When I say out of whack, it means they're just not aligned right. So let's bring them in and we'll clear any rips and tears. There's a couple times that you had some severe pain in your life emotionally, and that's all clearing now as you align these bodies, letting you breathe. So just breathe. It's really true. Just breathe. Your life's about to change. All mm-hmm. for the Yeah, tons of butterflies just flew in as well. I know, a huge awakening you're going to have. Hmm. There's our hands on the Bible, letting all that go, all that programming. Not nothing to do with the Bible. It's just a book. It looked like a Bible. Just letting it all go. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so she has a princess crown. It's this like cute little thing, like when you went to a homecoming dance. So are you ready to leave that go? Because it's really not serving you. It is. It is pretty, but it's it needs to go. Okay, if it's not serving me, I'll let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pretty like I want to keep it, but if it's not serving, um, it sounds like maybe for a little girl, maybe. 
poor yeah. little yeah. girl. <laughs> it, yeah, it reminds me of that. Yeah. Right before yeah, Julia yeah, said that, there was a little stuffed animal talking to you. So, yeah, there's a little girl energy of um, not wanting to step into the full power of who you are to the um, – I'm not even going to call it adulthood because it's not even the right wording, but you get the idea there. So we're going to clear that with you, clearing that fear of of being all that you can be, of growing into. That's what it is, growing into who you can be and not physically, but all the way. OK, you, you hear what I'm okay. saying there? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I get you. I understand. Thank you. OK, mm-hmm. so Stacey, how are you feeling? Because we're going to we're going to finish up here. So how, how are you feeling? Do you feel any any heaviness anywhere? No. OK, well, I'm still I'm I, feeling... I see something a little... tiny band around the head. Yeah, and I see a tiny band around the heart. So let's just connect the heart and the head together. I think that's what they're telling us to do, Carolee. OK, clearing that all out, full connection and letting her go full speed ahead. Mm. Oh, you just got a big bouquet of a variety of flowers. So that's a beautiful gift because flowers represent amazing mm-hmm. energies. You just open to that. Yeah, let it in your fields. It's just going to aid you on your process. And just know that many people are going to be coming to you for help. And so bring that flower energy in and just keep expanding and know that you're not alone and know that you're worthy of everyone coming okay so on that we have to say thank you everybody for tuning in to the bbm global network and tune in radio and listening to a call to heal today and i just want to remind everybody that we are offering 30 percent off our private skype and phone sessions with carolee and myself regularly 333 now 222 and so for more details on that please visit awarenessbeyond.com for more details so thank you and remember you are the radiant ones and stay heart-centered and connected to your infinite awareness You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carol Lee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carol Lee and Julia's A Call to Heal. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.